Hey everyone, Patrice here and today we're gonna show you the best starting house in Minecraft. First thing you wanna do is go to whatever world you are, so for example I'm gonna be using this world uh, and um, you wanna press recreate, at least that's the way I know how to do it, and then more world options and you wanna copy the seed. So whatever world you just made or new world you started, you wanna copy the seed and go to chunk base and then with the help of chunk base you want to go to the igloo finder uh, which everything is going to be down in the description and with the help of igloo finder it will tell you the coordinate coordinates so you'll be able to just you know like find the coordinates where the igloo exactly is basically i already found it i already came here um obviously i'm in creative mode so it was a bit easier for me but either way it shouldn't be hard because it, it tells you where to go exactly the main thing when you find what you want to find is igloo that has this thing some of them does don't have it some of them have the basement some of them don't have the basement but you need the basement to be there so first things first i just want to show you why igloo is good the main thing is obviously because that everything around here is with us so for example as soon as you find one, you have already a bed, you have furnace, and you have a crafting bench. So you have everything you need. Another thing I really like the igloos is that they are super easy to extend. So for example, if like I want more furnaces, right? So I'm picking, put one here, two here, and then I don't know, I need, I need more space right here. So what you can actually do is just grab some snow and extend this place like that just like this so it still looks like an igloo it still looks normal you can even add a block here if you want and maybe even here if you want and i don't know do the same thing here so instead of this just extend it by a little bit and add a block here and here just like this and it will still look the same it will still look like an igloo but it will be a lot bigger now so you have more space here you can even shove in a full-on chest here or i don't know place four barrels like this you can put like a barrel under here so for a start as a starting base this is all you need you know for example you can place this here on top then you can put a, a smoker here and an anvil right there so you will have a lot of space you know to work with you can add a lot more barrels here or even chests if you want so it's enough it's enough for the start that's all I'm trying to say then you can just make a put like a little door up here uh, a button so you can open it in and the button up here as well open it outside what I usually do is also put some berries that I found on the way here that's why I did to my base because when the berries grow they actually make every like it look a little bit nicer so yeah it will be looking something like this and I just think that that like looks nicer but yeah like this so it will look nice and cozy right but the main thing after you actually done that so you will have everything here this will be enough for the storage as soon as you decide to you know that you need more space you can actually just grab some snow and um, you can break this off break this off break this off and you can make an igloo similar shape as an igloo in in here if you really need like you know more space so that's that's one thing you can easily you know like make it a bit longer and it will still look nice and cozy the another most important thing is that when you go down up here at start of the game which is super important it's actually the villagers because you want to find that mending book and you want to get everything sorted so the perfect thing here is that you actually have two villagers right here they are already placed here for you so you don't need to find villagers you don't need to you know br bring them with a boat you just you just come here you grab this elixir from here and you grab an, a golden apple what you need to do is throw the elixir and then give him a golden apple okay you want lectern that's the shit you want you put that stuff right here uh, well whichever way and there we go he immediately turned into a librarian super easy to make and then you can just press on him you know and trade whatever you want to trade he has power which is a crappy book so for example if we grab myself some paper just level level him up that's what oh yeah we need books as well and books then mending there we go <laughs> perfect that was easy and there we go we got mending books already super easy found it the next thing you do is you heal this guy i cannot heal him right now for whatever reason i did something wrong but uh, usually you just give him an apple and uh, the potion that is right here and he usually heals up and then what you want to do is actually make him a farmer at least uh, that's what I do. You can you can make him whoever you want, whoever you think is better to trade with. You can make him also a librarian because actually both of them will turn into librarian. But what you want to grab is um, where is it? 
I cannot really find a wooden pot. I'm not, not like 100% sure. <laughs> I don't really play in creative ever, so I don't even know how to use the creative. But the thing is, you find a wooden pot. You know, you can even you can make one. I know, and you can also um, find it in the village nearby if you find any villages. Um, just cannot find it. Anyway, and you put it in setup here. You put the same thing here when this when he turns into a normal uh, mob. Wait, can he? Can he? Can I feed him a golden apple now? Oh, there we go. Boom. Golden apple work. Zombie doctor. So we healed him. Now we give him whatever you want to make him. So since I cannot find the farm farm thing, I'll grab anything else. Uh, for example, who else is easy to make? A uh, smoker maybe? So let's put that as soon as he moves off. Just like that, boom, he turns into a butcher, you know, so it's also very easy. The thing is that you want to grab some raw chicken or, and he will also lower the prices because you saved him to make emeralds, you know, any way to make emeralds. Also, if for example, this librarian has mending books, but you don't need mendings or um, for example, he didn't get mending, you can actually break this and make a smoker here, for example, as well. I'm not sure if he will turn into two people, but I feel like I did have two doctors at some point. No doctor, sorry, uh, those guys, but uh, whatever. Let's grab cartography, for example, right? So we break this. To give him some time. Usually he will eventually turn into a cartographer. I don't know what they called, but whatever. And then you can break it and place this back again, and he will turn into librarian once again. And then you can look at his items because they will change. And this definitely works at least in 1.42, whatever version I am on right now. Uh, because I already did that and in my own base and it worked and the most important thing is that you can actually all you need is two villagers to make um, a village farm <laughs> it sounds weird but all you need is the two villagers actually so you can put them together right so for example break this in put them together give them stacks of food like carrots or potatoes and break around there and make a villager farm um, put four beds around them and so on. I'm not gonna completely show you how to make a villager farm because there's a lot of guides on YouTube that you can find for the villager farm but in the end you will have like infinite supply of villagers that you can make whoever you want. This is pretty much the the most important reason why I say that um, finding an igloo is the best starting house. Look I already got a mending book like that's perfect start that's all you need from a villager so you get mending book right here and you have a ba nice basement you know you can do the alchemy down there you have a brewing stand you know you got a little start off and then up here you have uh, your chests your bed your furnace and stuff like that also you can make a quick water elevator right here which will then you know just make your life a bit easier and you can put like the teleport down there, you can make your automated farms down there, everything that you know, that doesn't look nice. So this is pretty much it guys, thank you for watching, that's all I wanted to say. This is why I think Igloo is the best starting base and could be even your final base really, I don't know, everything you need is in here. So I hope this helps, because <laughs> I've seen a lot of videos and none of them actually mentioned Igloo and that 40% of Igloos actually have a basement and two villagers perfectly stacked here are ready for you. So here we are, leave a like if this helped and um, I'll see you guys in the next video, bye.